I have not dreamt at all. When I sleep, I sleep. Like dead. Yes, somebody wanted to measure the gamma waves in my brain. situations where your survival is in question, you will become mentally alert. That mentally alert thing doesn't make you aware. Awareness is not different from aliveness. Your aliveness is awareness. You know that you are alive only because you are aware, isn't it? Isn't it so? Otherwise, how would you know you are alive? How do you know you exist? Because you are aware. When we talk about awareness, we are not saying you are not at all aware. If you are not at all aware, you would know that you are here. <coughs> you are aware. It is just that you are not aware of the whole scope of what this is. You are only aware of a certain part of what this is. If we want to look at this as a mechanism, this is a kind of mechanism, an incredible mechanism, but it's still a mechanism. Only in parts you are aware. You are not aware of the whole mechanism and the possibility of what it is. It's in that context we are talking about awareness. Do not mix up mental awareness, mental alertness and awareness because mental alertness can be switched on and switched off. Awareness cannot be switched on and switched off. It's just on. Life is awareness, please see. There is no other way. What you call as life is a certain level of awareness, isn't it? So, are you aware? Yes, I am alive. Am I mentally alert? Not at all. There's, there's no mind in me. When I sleep, I sleep. Like dead. This happened to me about, about, about 13 years ago or so. Usually I never subject myself to these things, I think it's an indignity. But uh, I was caught up in an obligation where I had to give in to this and there somebody wanted to measure the gamma waves in my brain and uh, they said, uh, you want to measure. So I gave in to this and they wired me up all over. If I knew how many wires, even the last moment I would have said no, but one by one, one by one, they fixed it all over. Then they said, you meditate. I said, I don't know any meditation. <laughs> said, what? You, you teach meditation. That's different for people who do not know how to be. I teach meditation, but I don't know any meditation. I never meditate. <laughs> I said, see, if you want, I can simply sit still. Is that okay? They said, okay, you just sit still. <laughs> so I simply sat. 
Then after some time, I uh, feel somebody doing this, this, this. <laughs> I thought, okay, they're putting one more wire or something. Then they started poking me more and like this. <laughs> I said, okay, and opened my eyes. I said, okay, what's wrong? They were all looking at me like, <laughs> you know, I, either <laughs> something has happened, my eyeballs have popped out or something. <laughs> I don't know, I look like an alien, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Why, what happened? I mean, are you okay? <laughs> I didn't change shape or something. <laughs> I said, uh, well, our machines are saying you're dead. No. <laughs> At least you could be brain dead because all of them are running flat. I said, that's a great diagnosis you got. <laughs> so, about the brain being alive, I can't vouch for it, but <laughs> I'm alive, you can see that. The rest of it, it's up to you. <laughs> so, it is just that if the mind is up, there's no mental alertness. And it need not be, you don't have to sleep like an animal constantly, every little sound, you know, your ears go like this. <laughs> That's why you are not given that kind of ears you can move. <laughs> You see how a cat or a dog is sleeping? Just a little. <laughs> you don't have to sleep like that. In your bedroom, it's not an issue of survival. <laughs> it's not an issue, is it? You can turn off the whole damn thing and sleep. Now if I go sleep in the wild, I sleep in a different way. You know, when I go out and camp, I don't pitch a tent, I just sleep on the tree. So then I sleep in a different way, I'm constantly alert because I'm on a tree branch. <laughs> Either I could drop myself like the apple that fell long time ago, <laughs> or an elephant could pluck me down, or a snake could get me. So now I'm alert mentally. But when you sleep in your bed and if you're not married, <laughs> you can switch off your survival process. <laughs> There's no danger. <laughs> so mental alertness is necessary for survival. It's not awareness. Awareness is anywhere one. There's nothing to do about it. If you take away the distractions, it's fully on. It's always fully on. It's just that to make you conscious of that, you have to take away the distractions. So whatever you're trying to do, whatever form of meditation you're doing, all you're trying to do is take away your involvement with the distractions so that this aliveness becomes a reality for you.